Hey guys and welcome back to TechForce. So today we're going to be taking a look at a very high quality budget drone, costing only $200, the Snaptane SP700. Not only does this drone record pretty good quality 2K footage, but it's also able to fly half a kilometre away from the user and comes with so many awesome features, including follow me, circle around, return to home, waypoints and so much more. So let's go ahead and take a deeper look into this incredible product. So let's get started by taking a look at what comes inside the box. So we have the drone itself, the transmitter, a single battery to power the drone, a phone holder which connects easily into the transmitter, a charging cable, some spare props, some tools to swap out the props, and then finally the manual. Now my initial thoughts on the drone is that it's very well designed, with a nice camouflage top giving it a stealthy look and also seeming very sturdy. It houses four powerful brushless motors to power this drone and allowing it to face moderate winds with ease, which is something I found when flying. Now in terms of the design of the transmitter and its various buttons, it's very ergonomically designed, fitting comfortably in the hands. The transmitter also consists of a clear display indicating so many useful things, including the height of the drone, its distance from the last recorded takeoff point, the number of satellites it's connected to, as well as the battery left in the transmitter and the drone itself. Now in terms of the buttons, there are several, auto takeoff and landing, lock and unlock the propellers, return to home, photo and video, uh, GPS mode, and another for headless mode. And aside from this, when you connect to the app, there are various other features available at the click of a button. And these features include follow me, circle around, waypoints and electric fence. Now follow me allows you to enable the drone to follow you by tracking the location of the transmitter. And then circle around enables the drone to circle around the person operating the drone, based on, again, on the GPS uh, tracking system within the transmitter. And then you've also got waypoints, which gives access to a map, which can then be clicked to form a path for the drone to follow. And this works very well. And the last and very useful additional feature is forming an electric fence, which builds a boundary preventing the drone from escaping. And it's perfect when you're initially learning to fly this drone and get to grips with it. Now, aside from all these different modes, this drone also consists of 5G Wi-Fi transmission which enables quick and accurate data transmission between the transmitter and the drone, allowing for video footage to be quickly beamed down from the drone. And in terms of the drone's GPS positioning system, this is fairly accurate, being only a couple of meters off at most, which isn't too bad. And this is evident when the drone lands, as it doesn't always land in exactly the right place, and it's often a meter or two off, which isn't too far from the original takeoff point, and it's acceptable for a budget drone. Now apart from all the incredible features, one downside to this drone is that it does take three hours to charge the hefty 1800 milliamp battery, and it provides 18 minutes of flight time, which isn't too bad. And then when it comes to flying this drone, it can fly to a maximum height of 120 meters, which is extremely high, and it can fly 500 meters away from the user, whilst also being easily controllable. And then when in FPV mode, there's a range of 400 meters, which is incredible. It means the drone is able to send relatively clear and smooth footage down, allowing you to easily control it. Lastly, in terms of the video and photo footage for this drone, it's pretty good filming 2K footage. However, this is only filmed at 20 frames per second, which is pretty low and doesn't give the greatest video experience as the footage isn't as smooth as general cameras. But for a low cost drone, this is expected and it's probably one of the best uh, camera qualities you could get in a budget drone. And here is some footage to take a look at, showing you the stability and the resolution of the photo and video obtained by this drone.
Okay, now overall, costing only $200. This drone is certainly well priced for someone who's looking to get into the profession and provides the perfect stepping stone for someone looking to get a grip of the basics before moving on to something like the DJI Mavic Air lineup. Now with all the intelligent features of a thousand dollar drone built into a budget and easy to fly package, the Snaptane SP700 is perfect for beginner drone enthusiasts. So if you're looking for a great beginner drone, go to the description below and hit the link. This is perfect for you and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and goodbye.